Philip Buckingham on Paco says, He reasons ill who say that Vaishnava is dying when living still and sound. A Vaishnava dies to live and living tries to spread the holy life around. We go and visit the Samadhi Mandirs of Shulaku Goswami, Shulasananda Goswami, Sri Viswanath Thakur, Thakur, Shulanarana Thakur, Shulabhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, our Shulaprabhupada Bhakti Hai, Shulabhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And we understand that there are present in their samadhi mandirs, and they are also present in their books. They are also present in their instructions. They are also present in the proper honoring of Sri Bhagavad Prasadam, Mahaprasad. So that means 
that the pure devotee, when he leaves the vision of this, of the souls in this mundane world, he enters into the same intelligence with the same qualities and the same beauty, the same similar features as the intimate maidservants of his worshipable deity, Srimadhi Radharani. That is the meaning of putting the uh, Samadhi mantras with sandalwood pole and unguents that the devotees did for Srila Gurudev and Srila Gurudev did for our Srila Prabhupada. Of course, what is entering? We now say, Nitya Lila Pradishta Om Vishnu Pai, that Srila Gurudev has entered into the Lord's divine pastime. But he was always there, and throughout his 90 years of manifesting his mercy in this world as we saw it, he was still there. And now he's still there. And at the same time, he's manifesting himself continually in all these ways for us. He hasn't really left. The feeling of left is good because separation nourishes meeting. It begins with Guru. Shri Gurudev explained in one of his Vilakapus Mantri Darshans that the perfection of Bhajan is to fully follow in the footsteps of Shri Rupa Goswami, Shri Raghunanda Goswami, who are feeling intense separation from Shri Radhika and her servants. So much so that they roll in the dust and wail in separation. Shri Raghunanda Goswami prays in Vilakapus Mantri, when will I hear when will your tingling ankle bells be heard by me and thus cure my deafness? So such devotees feel that there's nothing to hear in this material world. He prays to Srimadhi Radharani that I'm burning in a blazing conflagration or a blazing fire fire of separation from you. And if you don't show yourself to me in the next moment, then I will die. If you don't give me your mercy and your darshan of what used to be in the land of Vrindavan, Radhakund, the presence of Krishna, and my own body, Separation is, Shri said, without separation from Sri Guru, it's never possible to come to that separation of Sri Mahiradika, which is the goal of Bhajra. He said, everything depends on our keen relationship with Guru. If we think, oh, he is so high and I am so low, We'll have one kind of relationship with him. But if we think, he loves me so much, he's my heart and soul, he's my very karma, then we can actually read this um, platform called Visram Vena Puro Seva. Very intimate service, just like the intimacy of a child who can jump onto his father's lap and play with his father's hair. It can't be imitated, but this is the relationship, intimate relationship of a Radha Muga Bhakti disciple with his guru. And this is what Shri Gurudev wants us to develop when he's telling about this intimate relationship 
seen. The eyes cannot know any happiness without seeing this scene. So, my early mother is not seeing it. I must go and get her so she can see it. So she left her spot in the lattice creepers and ran to find her Rusty Mundry. In the meantime, Rusty Mundry was just making some garlands or some unquins, some sandalwood cakes, and left her service to go and find Rupa Mundry. So immediately Rupa Mundry embraced her, grabbed her hand, and took her to watch that scene. So then Raghunath Swami loses his Pancharadosha uh, or his internal consciousness and enters into Arjabaya consciousness or half internal, half external. So he's seeing the scene in his mind, but now that scene is gone from his uh, absorption and self-identification. So now we and rolling on the banks of Radha Khan. And then he comes to external senses and can write and can speak. And then he's writing, O oh, Rupa Mantri, although we are the most chaste girl in Raj, somehow or other, you have this mark on your lips. So how does that happen? Because the Mantris get every mark on their own bodies and in the, their own heart that comes to Srimati Radhika as a vicarious experience. So she's not, on one hand, this is a joke, laughter, but on the other hand, she's writing this in severe pain and separation to end it that again. This is the desire of Shosmar Day for us. I've been around the world with them many, many times in all the various Western countries. And what was very wonderful for me since our Shiva Prabhupada is my very life and soul is that Shiva Verde had the same relationship with our Shiva Prabhupada as he has with his Shiva Prabhupada. And Shiva Gurudev often quotes how Prabhupada wrote him in a letter that the same transcendental relationship of love that my Guru Maharaj, my Prabhupada has with me, that same feeling of love I have with you. So Shiva Gurudev said, when he came to the West for the first time, in 1996, that I came for three reasons. One is to go to all the places that he made holy places and touch the dust of his lotus feet there. Second is to take all those seeds and uh, wilted sprouts of flowers that he began and since his departure have now wilted and dried up. So he gave me the water of Hadikita to sprinkle on them, to make them into blooming flowers so that I can offer them at the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna in Gauru Vrindavan. And my third reason for traveling as he requested. So I was very, um, just in so much happiness to see how Shilgurde went around the Western country and uh, on the uh, platform of uh, teaching the world what Srila Prabhupada really wanted to give but we didn't get it. He taught not only Raghunuga Bhakti, what is Raghunuga Bhakti and how to attain it, but also what is the difference between 
It's everything he does for the same purpose that we can enter into that spontaneous mode that Jaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to give. Bring us, how we see that in your Prabhupada's translation, in the 15th and 16th verse of Adhimita chapter 4.
so much time with him. Morning, good day used to be at early in the morning at 5.30 at Mangarati. Then later on, we used to go for morning walks. And then we used to follow him there. And then he used to come back and used to come back and sit down with him in his Hari Kaka, in his exchanges with devotees. And then, <coughs> a cold day, Gurudev was doing nothing but just doing Hari Kaka. And I still remember like devotees standing behind his room, uh, just listening to that Hari Kaka, whatever Gurudev was speaking. So, I don't know, I didn't prepare anything, I don't know what I came to say. All I can say is that I pray to Shri Lankar that He always be merciful to me and that I should always be on this path and always be able to serve Him. And So happy to be here. 
My wife thought to me I met him in 1977, but he was actually instrumental to all the ceremonies for the Samadhi or entrance into Samadhi the Siddhartha Prabhupada. Then later on in 1989, when I brought my mother Sashis to Vrindavan, um, the devotee actually had a table with two of the Parikama, the first Parikama book on, on Prasa. And I remember reading it and couldn't put it down. It was that same sensation, the same feeling in the heart is like drinking water with somebody is very thirsty. Uh, through the pages that those words are coming directly to my heart. I said, oh, I know this feeling that I, I had it while I was sitting in front of my guru in what he spoke at the time. But it never entered my mind to, because it was, I think it was the address perhaps mistaken, but I never thought, oh, I could go seek and find this saddle, this great soul to continue to hear this wonderful little time. So years went by, and I got that call from Guru Krav, Prabhu, and Babana Maharaj. So we went to the airport and um, to my wife, she made a card and I brought her to and, and there we went. But by the time we got there, all the bodies had gone and ran to their cars to follow through it. And she said, there he comes, look, he was by himself. Just walking, he had a turn, he looked very aristocratic. Uh, I introduced myself, he didn't say anything actually. And he walked to the car. I put the car down and I introduced myself, paid my respects, and he kept on walking. And he actually, I uh, really always played drugs with me. <laughs> And not always died. <laughs> so this this game of making you anxious to, for the next meeting began. And so he entered the car and at that time was in the of there was just a few unpacked so this Rush was there in the back just waiting. So we just did Kirtan, we got the two of us who started the Kirtan and very well the band and disappeared. And then through the years, the kid would come into the knees and we would come for the last minute he had, you know, he was doing well or and like that. So this went on until another call came by the mercy of my god sister. She said, oh, the other island is coming to the island and you have a car being done and nice enough but it's great to receive that. Would you mind? I said, yes, of course, no problem. And this time was my chance to meet him a closer. Um, but I was very shy. Um, I just uh, didn't really know how he wanted us to really relate. And didn't really know what's the difference between Shisha Guru and Dishu. And he really then made it clear through the years. And my misfortune is I'm kind of very slow, so it's going to take some time to digest. So it's going to. So we had, he got in the car and he asked me if I. Uh, I was, I, I had a decision, but I said, no, I said, yes, and he got very young, I said, yes, and he got very shy, I said, yes, and he said, punch my hand, I said, very good. <laughs> uh, and 
begin by the grace of the Lord and all the Lord for you to be. They invite us to lunch and to be through it in a more intimate way. And so we went to God's reading and we chat for a while. We brought information to him. And for some reason, I know for her, but for me, I don't know why he kept saying no. They're ready, they're very proud about it. I'm still thinking it's why I'm not. And then he got out and I there was something very strong. Um, it caused me to uh, to tremble. So he grabbed me, embraced me, and he looked inside my own eyes and he said, Now you're mine and I'm yours. And that's something that I still have to come out to that. And although I just, I'm so bad about remembering that, and especially in Sanskrit terms. But he had to have to come to that platform of intimate service. I still ask him in the morning, well, how do I do that? Our Param Guru did, in fact, for young kids of our let's see what my master Guru did in an intimate fashion. How do I do that? He has so many disciples close to you, I How am I going to do that? And he asked me, do you say Amen? I said, yes, we do. Am I not in your prayers? So I'm so ungrateful. There's so much to that I had to internalize. And yes, I was very lucky. Yes, he got taken to one of us, just the three of us. But we're not. It just felt amazing. But still, I feel always that. saying about the gopis that the glories are so high it's like looking at a mountain and then his hat falls on his head. Same with Guru Dev. So hopefully Krishna will give me years so that I can come up with that platform. But still Without your mercy, without the mercy of you, disciples, great right? disciples of Shiva Buddha, I can never forget them. So I have so much to thank all of you and the Master of Oppression that have helped me get close to that Gauravata Prashad here that came to this wonderful world. Thank you. Thank you all for that. Thank you all for that.